Today, we're gonna shovel snow with the Toro cordless electric power shovel. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I'm out in the garage, because I got some new hardware here. It's by Toro. And it's a 60 volt cordless power shovel for clearing snow. Now, I have long since given up on the shoveling snow out of my driveway, and that's just because it's too much of it, it takes too long, gotta get on to more important things. But I realized there are a ton of times when you actually won't use your snow blower in places, like clearing off a deck or a patio or your front sidewalk sometimes. And it just doesn't make sense to fire up an entire snow blower to do some of the smaller jobs. And that's where I haven't gotten rid of a shovel. But I might be able to now because this cordless snow shovel actually will do everything that a real shovel will do, but all you have to do is move the shovel. And it actually comes in this pretty small box. It's really no bigger than a vacuum cleaner box, but we get, it's like this handle here. We get this piece. Oh, and it's just bent over, so it looks like assembly is gonna be pretty easy. So here it is. And again, kind of looks a little bit like a vacuum cleaner. And then here we have the battery. And then here, it looks like the battery. We should have a little button right up top there so you can see the status light. Looks like that's gonna need to be charged overnight. And then in here, it looks like we have the battery charger. Now, I've always kind of been interested in these, but I reached out to Toro and they were willing to send me this to check out. And the reason I was so interested in this one in particular is because these have been electric for a while, but they have always usually required a cord to them. Now, for me, because of the way things are laid out, I don't really have long extension cords. I don't have easy access to power outlets. And so it didn't really make sense to just get it in a corded fashion. And to get out in a long extension cord and to find power and then to push this around just didn't make a lot of sense. And it wasn't really any more convenient than just grabbing a shovel and doing some quick work. But the fact that this is cordless is great for me because the patio on the back or the patio on the front, the sidewalks on the side, there's just no way I wanted to move cords around. And this allows me to quick do all of that, which isn't a lot of real estate, but it's just really spread apart. And so something like this in cordless format is going to be really great. Now to put this together, it looks like this just goes in here. There's a little hole right here and there's a little detent right there. So I think that that is kind of idiot proof that I should just be able to kind of push this down there. A little detent pops out and then I can tighten this down here. Now what we get here is it looks like this handle with a couple triggers and a switch right here. Back here we have the compartment for loading in the battery which looks like it's pretty well covered so that you don't have any snow or anything that gets in there. A little button up here to eject the battery. Once it's in there you need to take it out. And then down here is the business end of this little bad boy. We do need to attach this handle to that bar. It has four Allen screws in there and I think this is a 530 seconds just grabs it out of my toolbox so you have to back all these out to remove this lower portion here and then we can retighten it so it takes a little while but then these will come off and now we will just take this and attach it to the bar above the junction right there and you will just have this so that the handle is facing up you'll have one hand down there and then another hand on the handle so we're just going to put this back on and tighten them back down to secure this in place. So I got this snow shoveling beast set up. Got the power shovel down there, which looks just like a small snow blower, which is pretty awesome. And then the handle up there, and then we have the battery. And the two triggers here, one's a lockout trigger and one's an activation trigger. So I think we might even get a little snow tonight. So I'm gonna charge up this battery and then maybe tomorrow morning, we'll kick some snow butt. So before we use this, let's take a quick look at it. Down here is the power shovel portion. It looks like to be about a foot wide. It looks like just a small snow blower. You've got this little plastic auger here. And down on the bottom here, you actually have this like shovel-like blade. So I think that's gonna give you a real close grind to the concrete. You should be able to kind of scrape everything up. This portion down here where the motor and the auger is, is kind of heavy i mean it's decently heavy it's probably maybe 10 pounds or something but what i like about that is it's obviously not too heavy to carry around but it also puts the weight right down here sinks into the snow so you should be able to blow a decent amount of snow now if we go up here you got the handle here which is really nice it's slightly textured slightly soft and rubberized so you'll have a good grip on that but it's a great balance point and then here you have the control mechanism you have two speeds, one and two. So I'm assuming two is a little faster. Then you have the lockout button right here. 
and then the power trigger right here. So what you can see is I can't pull this trigger up unless this lockout button is pressed down. Now I can pull this up and that'll run. And then to stop it, I just release it, but it's going to prevent you from inadvertently powering it on. And then back here we have the housing for the battery. So the battery will just slide right in there, a little button up here on the top to eject it, but you just go ahead and throw that sucker in there. And that actually should be a little bit of a counterweight to counterbalance the weight up there. But otherwise I'd like that the weights down there is you really just have to push it. So it's kind of like a big electric broom. So let's get blowing some snow. All right, so what we got here is some snow. And what's funny is it might look a little strange to you because what ended up happening last night was that it was actually pretty warm and it started precipitating. And so we got this water and rain basically everywhere, but then the temperatures just plummeted. So it started to snow. Now the problem is it created a little sheet of ice and then it snowed on top of that. And now the temperature is coming back up a little bit, um, you know, maybe just a little above freezing. And so it's coming down as rain again on top of it so i think this is actually really kind of crummy snow try to uh it's actually like got a shell on it it's actually kind of gross here we've got definitely a couple inches of this stuff but man it's like slush balls and uh really heavy and as you can see here it's a little hard to move around but it's not deep enough that it makes any sense to get the snow blower out but it's also slick enough and substantial enough that I really got to get it cleared because someone walking around is going to slip and the cars are going to slip around and it's going to kind of compact it and so I want to get it moved so it's a perfect job for the power shovel and I'm really curious if it will be able to get through two or three inches of slushy slushy snow so let's try it I can see that the slot is up at the top here so I'll put that in there so it can connect right into those little connectors there close that up it's nice that it's held in with a little magnet here so it's not gonna flip open on me and let's see if we can clear the sidewalk oh man all right button down trigger up Dude, this is awesome. Look how far it's throwing that stuff too, man. All right. Wow, that was cool. That's pretty easy. I mean, look at this slush. This is about as thick and as heavy as I've ever seen it. And that is super satisfying. And I'll tell you what, I'm not pushing. I know that, you know, shoveling snow can actually be a reason for a lot of heart attacks. I'm just walking this thing through the snow. It's doing the work. Let's do it again. Yeah, that's awesome. The Amazon delivery guys are going to be happy <laughs> that I did this for them. And despite me shouting here, like I said, you don't have anything like a gas motor or some sort of noisy two-stroke going off. It's very early in the morning here, and I don't want to wake up the neighbors. When you fire up a snowblower or something like that, you certainly can, but this is nice and quiet. So if you're in a dense residential area or something like that too, I think this is the right companion to have.
All right. Well, that's the easiest way I've ever shoveled the front sidewalk. Now, the best thing about this is because it is cordless and electric, I can just walk it to wherever I need it without worrying about cables. So, just like that, don't have to move any extension cords around and I can come right here to the back. Now the snow blows and drifts on the other side of the house, so it doesn't look like I have much here, but it's pretty awesome. With my power shovel, I can just do a quick job of cleaning this off without having to fire up any motors or plug anything in. Let's get to it. I've also learned that if you need to throw it sideways, all you have to do is angle it to where you want to throw it and then push it in the direction that you need to uh, cover. Well, that's awesome. That heavy, icy, slushy stuff was short work for this power shovel. I tell you what, if you're fortunate enough to have the light, fluffy, beautiful, seasonal stuff, then this thing is going to be your best friend. But I am super stoked because now I know I can get shoveling done quick, easy, and actually make it a lot of fun. Super satisfying to see it just cleared off like this. Hey, if you want to pick up the 60 volt Toro battery powered cordless electric power shovel, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. Now, there's a lot of reasons 